Hey guys, it's Crystal. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks, but I wanted to film in front of my tree. But uh, um, before we start this video, I just want to say my hair is fake. So if you see, obviously, I want to call myself out before anyone else does. Um, obviously, it's not blended good, but I just wanted to look a little bit cute. Yeah, this is going to be a what's on my iPhone 11 Pro video. I made this video earlier this year, I think like in January, March, February. But my phone has grown a lot since then i have a lot of junk on here now and i thought i would update it this is in my case and it's also in the color i don't know if it's forest green but it's like that green color and i got this case from amazon it's really cute and it's like makes my phone feel bigger so i liked that here's my lock screen it's a picture i got from tumblr of a girl just drinking her coffee or whatever i don't know what i was saying here this is literally the ghost but anyway i also have the same background because i'm too lazy to keep on changing stuff so this is what my background looks like it just reminds me of me so the first thing i have on the first page is the calendar <laughs> and then i have photos camera clock you know it's all like the regular stuff i have all the alarms you can think of and then i have maps weather reminders notes stocks which I wish I knew what this stuff meant, but I don't. And then I have news, books, app store, podcasts, which I do like to listen to like true crime podcasts, like on Sub Mysteries. I don't really like this one, but I was listening to it because I was in the shower. And yeah, I like to listen to those kind of podcasts. If you also like true crime stuff, comment down below. I'm in love with Bailey Sarian and um, Stephanie Harlow. I love her like her videos even if you know the most about any case she's going to tell you something you didn't know and it's just so cool but anyway then i have health wallet settings facetime files itunes store and then i have this for my apple watch and utilities just random stuff I'm too lazy to go through and this is rosie by the way she's the cutest thing in the whole wide world and then at the bottom, we just have the consistent messages, phone, safari, and music. Then on the next page, I have a folder of games. I have BitLife, which I don't really use that much anymore. I used to use it a lot more. And I literally paid the $5 to become like a Bitison or whatever it is. And that was a waste of money. But then I have Cooking Diary, which I'm in love with and I play literally every single day. I'm in like this guild where we just like help each other to basically move on up in the cooking world. And then I have episode, which I haven't opened in forever, but if I'm really, really, really bored at work, I will open episode and like play until I forget what time it is. And then the next folder, it's called photo and video. I have Google Photos, Google Rewards, which is a good like app where you can like answer little surveys they give you for like a few cents. I don't know. And then I have Flow, Duolingo, I'm trying to learn French. I literally had this app for like three years and I barely know anything, but yeah. Then I have Google Translate and the next folder is just called Folder. <laughs> I have Fetch Rewards and CoinOut. These are both apps where you take pictures of your receipts and they give you some coins and like Fetch Rewards gives you points and it adds up to like gift cards and I always just get Amazon gift cards from there. Coin out gives you like actual coins, coins, and you can like cash it out. Just some little stuff. Then I have Amazon, Shein, which I pronounce Sheen. I just ordered like a lot of clothes. And I'm planning to make like a try on haul of that stuff. It should be coming in like two weeks. Then I have Etsy, which I barely use, and Mercari. You guys should check out my little shop. Um, just kidding, but I do like sell some stuff on here. Not really a lot, but you gotta get my coin up then i have another folder called photo and video i have snapchat i have instagram i have twitter youtube my favorite whatsapp for like family google chrome because i don't like to use safari that much i don't know why but i just like google chrome on my phone i have gmail facebook which i barely use tumblr which i barely use and then i have an app and folder called finance i have american express for my card valley mobile Capital One, Zelle, and Discover. In my next folder, I have Education. I have Canvas for school and Google Docs. And then in my next folder, I have like these two um, apps for like travel, I guess. Hopper, it like detects the prices of flights you plan on going on. 
to see like the surge or the uh, price down price down of your flights but I don't know if I have any tracked. I was planning to go to South Korea to visit my boyfriend. Look, yeah. And it's like telling me the best time to go. It like says green for like, you know, the cheapest flights. And they're all really expensive, so we gotta love that. I'm not gonna go anymore, but... Then I have Airbnb. I think everyone knows what Airbnb is, but if you don't, it's like... You rent out like a house, a cabin, hotel. It's really interesting. Then I have Spotify. I kind of just gave up on my folders at this point. Like, as you can tell, I don't have any folders anymore. I have Spotify, YouTube Studio to like see my little analytics, I guess. And I don't have anything because <laughs> my videos do so bad. But yeah, then you know you gotta have Credit Karma, Venmo. I use it if my friends don't have like Zelle because I prefer Zelle much better. I have Visco, which I don't really use anymore. The last thing I posted was in April. But yeah, Sandbox, it's like an app where you can send like military members letters and stuff like that. I used to use it when my boyfriend was in basic, so I sent him like letters and it like lets you send pictures along with the letters. So I thought that was really cool. And then I have Facebook Messenger, I have Video Saver, it's like you can save YouTube videos. And I really like that. I don't save YouTube videos, but like if I need like background music for one of my videos, I save like an acoustic and it's really cool. I have video crop you can crop out like the unnecessary stuff in videos like they'll say there's like black bars around videos you can just crop it out i have my w days i used to use this as a diary when i was in like high school and i like to read back on it and see what i was saying because i don't use it anymore but yeah then i have tiktok which we gotta love tiktok follow my tiktok it's chris horrain uh not that i have good videos or anything but i will literally send you funny tiktoks because i don't really send any on tiktoks then i have Me melodic oh oh my god that was a mistake but it's like for guitar lessons because i used to play i used to practice the electric guitar but i have nails now so when i get my nails off i'll be able i will i will i will resume group me for school and then i have followers it's the, like tracks who unfollows you because i'm annoying like that I have Cash App because my sister likes Cash App and not Zelle. Then I have Toyota services so that I can pay my lease every month. Love that for me. Then I have Hey Vina because this is like an app where you like make friends, I guess. And yeah, almost oh, someone messaged me like a week ago. Love that for them. Then I have Bitmoji for Snapchat and PayPal Image Edge something it's like for my camera so i can transfer my videos to my phone i have the mood app it's like i used to use it as like a little journal and i would rant and people would be like you'll be okay girly and yeah <laughs> i have apple support i think i just like message like apple i don't I haven't used this in a while i don't know and then i have gift keyboard because i like it better than like the apple gifts i don't know because it doesn't say like sent with gif or whatever at the bottom of it I have user testing it's like this app where you take surveys if you're qualified and you get like 10 bucks from it i don't really use it a lot i have wattpad because i used to be a fan fiction writer i swear i could make a video like reacting to it because it's so cringe i used to make them when i was 15 and i just keep it here because i still get notifications from like people reading my old books one of them has a hundred thousand reads and i like to see what they say because they comment on it too i have free prints i don't really i don't know why i still have this app i used it last year when my boyfriend was in basic training so i could send him like photos you can basically like it's like free photos you get to pick what photos you want printed and they mail it to you and you just pay for shipping and stuff they give you like i think 88 photos a month for free or something like that so it's a really cool i have curious cat it's like this question and answer app which i should delete too then i have roku for my tv I can literally like control my TV with like a remote when it's connected to this app and I think it's so cool. Look, why won't it let me press remote? Whatever. And then I have Doorman Story. I'm obsessed with this game, but I finished all the hotels so I'm waiting for them to release a new one because I love it. Like you just like attend to guess, I guess. And it's like really fast clicking and I love to like play those kind of games because they're so addicting. 
And then I have daily horoscope, which I don't use either. I'm an Aries, by the way. I have a whole Aries hat too. It's like the little V thing for like the Rams. The, am I saying that right? The little horn. Oh my goodness, I'm dumb. But yeah, I have my Sprint because I have Sprint. Sprint sucks, so don't get it. But yeah, to track like the bill. I have Zoom for like maybe if I'm driving and I'm supposed to be in class and I'm not on my laptop just to like go on it really quick. I have Optimum for my Wi-Fi, Word <laughs> for school. Vagaro, it's like this app where you can set up appointments if you want to get your hair done and like a hair salon offers like I don't know how to explain it. If they're on Vagaro, you can like schedule your appointment without having to call because I hate calling places. So it's really cool. Then I have Survey Junkie, which I really recommend. It's like oh man. It's like an app or like this website where you take surveys for little coins, but it really adds up. Like I've had it for a while and I made like $80. And I'm ready to cash out 20 right now, so don't play with me. I'm just kidding, but I really recommend it. Then I have yoga. I don't do yoga anymore, but when I'm feeling inspirational and like I need to do something with my life, I do yoga. It says one workout. <laughs> then I have ADP for my job because they pay me. Um, and I clock in through ADP, so I just like to see my time cards and stuff. And I have Grand Hotel something i don't really use it but i was using it as like a rebound for doorman story because i finished all the hotels i have robin hood um i don't know like what investing is or like anything about it but i put like some money into netflix amazon and i don't know what i'm doing with my life but i made a dollar so far so yeah then i have amazon a to z because i work at amazon too and like i get to see my time card and i can clock in from my phone so that's pretty cool and then I have this countdown because I want my boyfriend to come home. So I'm counting down to the days he comes back. And he comes back in a month and six days. And it's so cool because he's been away for like a year already. Well, 11 months, 10 months, basically a year. So I can't wait. Then I have Wayfair because I'm planning to move soon. So I need furniture. And I need it. I'm the type to like plan stuff in advance. So I like to like have things in my cart to see what I would like in a house, you know? And then I have T-Mobile Tuesdays because Sprint partnered with T-Mobile. So now we get like those rewards. And I have like this free Pandora. No, this free Panera. <laughs> this free Panera subscription for like coffee. And I never used it. But maybe if I buy Panera one day, I'll get coffee. So yeah. I have Subway Surfers. That's when I'm bored at work. I just play that. Time Tree. It's like this dual calendar me and my boyfriend have together. And I only have my stuff on here. Dentist appointment, haircut, laser hair removal, stuff like that. And then he has like when he comes home and yeah. So we can like keep up with each other's schedules and what we're doing. Then we have Google Slides for school, Google Drive for school, Among Us. I love Among Us. Like if you play Among Us, be my friend so we can share codes and we can play together. I have K-Health when I'm too lazy to go to the doctor <laughs> and I need to ask like what the F is wrong with me. Don't know if I recommend it or not. My camera overheated, but don't know if I recommend K Health or not because I have a story about that. I don't know if it was their fault or what, but I just had an allergic reaction to like a medicine. So maybe it was best for me to go to the doctor, but I had hives for like two weeks, literally. Anyway, then I have Pinterest. I'm sorry if the camera moved, by the way. I have Pinterest, Liberty Mutual for car insurance, Google Hangouts. I have this app I never use. It's like you can rant on it and stuff because I don't know. I'm like the type. I have Duncan. I don't know why I have it. I barely go there. But I want to try a new drink one day and I wanted to see what drinks they have without having to look at the menu awkwardly while I am in my car and I'm just like, wait a second. I want to see what you guys have. But anyway, then I have My Wisely because I have a card from them. I don't know. I never used it. I have Fun Call because I was trying to prank call my brother. Listen. Hello. I put like a man voice. Hello, Jen. Your worst nightmare. Okay, it's just boring. But anyway, and then I have thumbtack because I was trying to get extensions, and I was trying to find people who like do it around me. But I'm not going to do them anymore because it's just too expensive. <laughs> but that's literally all that's on my iPhone. I feel like this video was very 
boring and like nothing is like oh my gosh I need that app but yeah sorry if you guys didn't enjoy it say bye Rosie okay she's gonna leave me now thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one say bye Rosie oh my god she's so cute Bye.